makes him even, listen, what makes him even legitimate conversation? A million records? That makes him what? That makes us the same because we both rap. He wouldn't even be making a mixtape because I invented that. But there's no significance in that. When he freestyles on a mixtape, it's in song format because he's following my format. But they asked me about him like we're the same. The 50 and Wayne thing was such a funny thing because it was really, in my opinion, a one-sided issue. But nonetheless, we're going to get into every situation that happened between both artists. Discuss how it all started, what was 50's intentions, and where they at today. Shout out to all the yo yas on the east side. It's your boy KD. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Now, you can say that 50 Cent was the hottest artist in the game from 2002 all the way to, I would say, like 2007. Now, over time, things are bound to change. New artists pop up and start gaining some traction. It's hard to stay the hottest artist in the game for your whole career. But the artist in this story that started to gain some traction was not a new artist at all. He was actually a veteran in the game. That artist was Lil Wayne. Through a variety of mixtapes, and I'm talking about classic mixtapes, and a whole bunch of features, Lil Wayne was garnering the attention of a lot of people in the game. His claim to be the best rapper alive started to ring more and more true as time went on. So while the 50 Cent era as the hottest artist in the game was coming to an end, Lil Wayne's era as the hottest was just starting up. And I know for sure, Fifth took notice to this. Throughout 50's whole career, he used the competitive nature of hip hop to propel his career to the next level. And seeing Lil Wayne rising up in the ranks and becoming the next hottest thing, I think that's what drove 50 to take a few jabs at Wayne, to really test the temperature and see if Wayne would ever react to 50 Cent. So let's begin in the timeline. The first initial rift we see between G-Unit and Wayne deals with Young Buck and his apparent relationship with Trina, who Wayne was also seeing during this time. That led to 50 throwing the first jab on his song Fully Loaded Clip, where he says, while Trina was telling Wayne I love you, boo, she was just running games. She told Buck that too. <laughs> I remember that shit. That shit was crazy. So after this, 50 did an interview with Funk Flex and straight up called Lil Wayne a whore because all the features he was doing. Creatively, he done found his own little pocket. Mm -hmm. And he's doing it. He just got to... Like, I, I feel like like a whore sleeps with whoever will pay him. Okay. So we got to call him a whore. <laughs> if he'll just go with whoever oh, will pay you to be on the record. Setting the tone today. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's just how you got to do it. <laughs> okay. We we'll use metaphors in hip-hop. <laughs> Yo, let me tell y'all. 50 was not done there. Because on his G-Unit mixtape, Sabrina's Baby Boy... There was a song called Part-Time Lover where he also poked fun at Lil Wayne for kissing Birdman. <laughs> it's more than your body, baby. Damn, it's your brain. You make me want to kiss you like baby kiss Wayne. And make you call me daddy like baby do Wayne. Damn, that shit sounds gay. It's insane. I guess that's the price the little nigga paid for fame. But baby, dim the lights now. Now, even with all of these shots, there was no response from Wayne. 50 was obviously trying to bait him out, and Wayne was smart enough to not bite. So fast forward to the next year, Lil Wayne is officially named the hottest artist in the game by MTV, which 50 didn't really agree with. In the interview, he says, you got other artists that are there that haven't even made their own records. The number one artist? Tell me his first single off his last album. How you number one and no one knows the record? Now, Wayne at this point has not sent a shot back at 50, but it does look like he did work a nerve because on a leaked track from Lil Wayne called Wheezy Animal, he throws a few shots at 50. This is what 50 has been waiting for. Even though it wasn't put out by Wayne, it was 50's opportunity to get at Wayne, and he wasted no time in responding. He took some shots at Wayne on his song, played this on the radio, and also took some shots on Officer Ricky. And I'm on your heels, Mr. Carter. I you. You want me to die ugly? Okay. Don't end up on the list, nigga. Be a missing person. 
like Jimbo, like Jack, like Joe. Who wants them? Where you at, Wayne? You the full cost meal, Wayne. You off the quiet. You call him out, go down the mouth. I got my wife to yourself. You gotta get past me to get to him. I'm the baby over here. I'm the smallest nigga in my clip. 50 also dropped a warning video to Rick Ross. And in the beginning of that video, he mocked Lil Wayne because at that time, Lil Wayne was recording his rock album, Rebirth. Hey, what's up? Hey, All right, y'all caught me. I was practicing for my new rock and roll album. Wayne again did not respond to any of this, which kind of really made this a one-sided beef. He did take a little shot at 50 on the Pimp C song, Let's Talk Money, where he says, Pimp called me before he left this bitch, told me to keep doing your thing and don't tell 50 shit. I think Wayne knew that 50 was trying to bait him out this whole time, and he never really took it. He did appear in a few videos talking about he only drinks syrup, not vitamin water, but he never took like any real shots to 50. But but of course, even though Wayne wasn't saying much, that did not stop 50 because he dropped another song called Love Hate Love, which is hard by the way, and he was poking at little Wayne for skating and wearing tight clothes. Confused, acting like a white boy bored. Now you wanna jump a flight of stairs on a skateboard, nigga. Why the fuck your pants so tight? You trying to show niggas your ass, your alternative life. Now, this was the last shot that 50 took at Wayne, and ever since this whole back and forth, they have had a great relationship. There's no beef between the two, and if you take a look at 50 on Wayne's podcast, it was great to see them have a conversation together. This to me was never a personal thing, 50 was just being 50. <laughs> Taking shots at Wayne, and he played it smart by not getting into it with 50. He was the hottest artist in the game at this time, and there was nothing for him to gain with that back and forth. But let me know what y'all think. Was there any moments that I missed? Do you remember these moments with 50 and Wayne? Was 50 he hating or was he trying to get himself into the conversation let me know in the comments yo i appreciate you guys for watching this video make sure you comment subscribe like the video share this with your friends once again it's your boy kd and i'm out of here